All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna talk about is legal is um, is the P-Shot, guys. And so basically PRP, okay, platelet-rich plasma. Basically what they do, I'll put up a little picture here. You get your blood injected, they centrifuge it down, and then the they actually isolate the platelet-rich plasma and inject that into a syringe and then with that isolated prp they actually inject that into the sites for injury recovery guys they've been using it for everything from like wrinkle recovery to even uh, more recently things like erectile dysfunction okay does this work well guys i'll put up a review paper here there's a comprehensive review and basically what it comes down to is there is some evidence that this works but the evidence is not overwhelming there's conflicting data one of the problems with this is that there's not a great um, like standardized method some people do it like for example like how much volume do you extract I also made a whole video on the PRP and the P shot, guys, if you want to check that out. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because the video is already longer than I intended it to be already. There is a lot of potential, but you need to go to a high volume center that knows what they're doing and if possible, even get it with stem cell injection. But I do think, especially when you're talking about things like erection quality issues, things that have been like for guys that have had like long-term hypertension and have damaged some of the endothelial tissue in their penis, or even guys from like chronic trauma from either over masturbating or even things like enlargement tech techniques you could actually have, see some significant improvement with the PRP. You just need to be careful because if you go to a urologist, one of the centers doing this, they have a financial incentive to try to convince you that this stuff works. So just be very, very careful. And so why does this work? Well, let me just read to you some of the different growth factors that are associated with the PRP. Um, you have platelet-derived growth factor, transforming growth factor beta, fibroblast growth factor, insulin-like growth factors 1 and 2, vascular endothelial growth factor, epidermal interleukin 8, keratinocyte growth factor, and connective tissue growth factor, guys. And that's all from this study here. So there are so many different growth factors and injury recovering mechanisms um, that are present in the PRP. There's a lot of reasons why it would help if you can inject that and have higher concentrations of that, especially into the penis, to help you recover from whatever you're going through. And so, you know, this is uh, gonna, in theory, like increase penile blood flow and then get all of those different growth factors to help recover from any kind of potential damage or trauma to that area, guys. And so, big thing is cost. How much does this cost? Well, I've seen anywhere from like $700 per shot to $3,000 per shot, depending on the location, the associated fees. And so, we had a user on our uh, subreddit that, you know, posted this, that he got a deal on his and he had like $1,500 for four rounds done about six weeks apart. Doctor's fees alone, according to the Plastic surgery stats are about almost $700, guys. So this is expensive. I wouldn't necessarily hang your hat on this. How you can get it, just talk to your doctor, talk to your urologist. You can obviously Google it, but you want to find a provider that has significant amount of experience and is licensed to actually perform this. So obviously never go to any kind of underground levels uh, or underground providers, okay? So basically, I already talked about how they do it. They numb your penis, take out the blood, and then inject it. Usually it's about five injections, and then this is followed by a penis pump, guys. I've talked about penis pumps before, guys. When you're talking about injury recovery, there's plenty of data on it. Guys, see my video on like the science behind penis pumping. There's part one and part two as to why it works. I'm not going to take too much more time here, okay? Side effects can include swelling, itching, bruising, infection, scarring, and even herpes outbreaks. Uh, all you guys watching this know who BD is. You know, I'll put a link to his channel down below if you don't by some <laughs> means know who he is. But he actually got the P-shot done and actually reacted to the lidocaine injections. He actually had like some pretty severe scarring um, in, his, uh, in his actual penis, not from the PRP, but from the actual anesthetic that they use. So just be aware of that. So in conclusion, like the P-Shot, would I recommend it? Guys, I think it's pretty reasonable to do. I have clients that have tried, you know, relaxation, have tried supplements, have tried medications, have met with providers, met with their PT people, and they still don't improve. And I think at that point, um, it is reasonable to consider the P-Shot. One thing that I'm not going to talk about on this video, I'm going to have a specific separate video altogether, is actually shockwave therapy. That's also something that you could consider. And so leviathansupps.com for any of the supplements that me and B personally put together that is going to be well below any market price that you can find. I can almost guarantee it, especially when we're talking about the quality of the product. We also have our test booster Vitality that will be out any day now. Okay, please check that out. I'm going to be putting a video out about that. If you are looking for enlargement devices, peakmalephysique.com has all those. Once again, guys, I guarantee you we're going to beat any price that you can find. Okay, it's just it's just a fact. Okay, if you need to reach me directly, Doc Hink is my Patreon. You can reach me there. Until the next one guys thanks for watching i really appreciate you all love you all peace and love guys